We're here at the AgriLabs booth talking with Steve Schramm and Randy Tosh about some exciting new technology, specifically the vet gun and vet caps. And I guess, Steve, let's begin with you. Uh, just tell us a little bit about this technology. Um, uh, Kevin, this has been a uh, three-year test market with our partners at SmartVet, and we've really fine-tuned the device itself and the vet cap system that we, now we can bring an insecticide control product to beef, beef producers that are really needed in today's environment. That's really neat. And Randy, I, I know there's a lot of scientific uh, research that went into developing this technology. Maybe give us some of the background. Well, we put a lot of thought into both the development of the encapsulated vet cap and into the gun itself. And as Steve suggested, this is a precision tool that we know farmers and ranchers can use to eventually deliver a whole range of animal health products to their herd and do it in a very efficient and effective way. A lot of our technology resides in the soft gel encapsulation for the vet cap, which uh, we'll be demonstrating here at the NCBA show this week. And Steve, maybe tell folks what, in your opinion, are some of the biggest benefits, uh, not only the animal, but also to the producer in this technology. Yes, Kevin, you know, up until today, um, cattle producers have had very good tools to use um, for fly control and insect control and parasite control. But what's different today with the vet cap is you can actually time when you actually need to use a product for fly controls. Many times producers will um, pour their cattle um, in the spring before they let them out to pasture. Well, now you can actually time when you need to, to, to apply an insecticide for fly control. But the biggest benefit, other than just the timing of it, is the economic return. When you think about uh, how much the fly, horn flies have an economic um, uh, uh, problem with uh, producers, um, reducing anywhere from 15 to 30 percent of the weight gain over an 80-day period on pasture. So with the vet cap and vet gun system with the AML product, one treatment for five to six weeks control will get you a 10, 10 to one return. So for a three dollar investment roughly, you'll get a thirty dollar return on your investment and that's going to be key in today's cattle prices. Yeah, with the feeder and uh, uh, cattle prices, what they are today, uh, that seems like a minor investment to manage your cattle correctly. I'd love to take a look and see how that works. Do you have a second? Absolutely. Let's give it a shot. Well, Randy, uh, tell me first of all about the product and specifically how you prepare to use the product. Okay. The vet gun's designed to be very simple. The only thing that the producer has to do once the, he takes the vet gun out of the box is to put the CO2 canister in place. That's very easily done and we're offering CO2 in several sizes so that depending on the number of animals to be treated, producer can select the size of CO2 that works best for them. We have both a pre-filled and we have a refillable uh, CO2 canister that we use. Now it's really easy to load the vet gun and one of the great things about this, even that there's no risk to the producer in handling our encapsulated product, we wanted to avoid that if all possible. So the product will come to the producer in a 30 count pack like this. This is just one retail offering. Inside are the six individual sleeves of five capsules. If you're out on horseback or an ATV with your cattle, the last thing we want people to do is have to fumble with product or to, even more importantly, lose product. So all you have to do is take the end off of a single sleeve of product and just simply let it roll into the feeder tube of the vet gun. The feeder tube itself will hold three sleeves of product, so 15 count of AML vet caps. Once we're all gassed up, as this gun is, all we have to do is take the safety off. And obviously, we recommend that you use gloves and protective eyewear at all times. Uh, the distance of about 15 or up to 30 feet away from an animal. Cattle that have typically been uh, offered hay or cake or something so that they're preoccupied with that. We do recommend that we dry fire the vet gun a few times just to acclimate the herd to the sound of the vet gun itself. But as you'll hear from the demonstration, the vet gun is not loud. So if you're ready, let's give it a shot. Okay. At about this distance, we'll want to apply this product near the shoulder region of the animal, which is where the horn fly burden sits. And so we get immediate knockdown and control in that way. Wow, that's amazing. And that's instant relief for the cattle. And cattle, as you can tell, would not be adversely affected either by the sound of the vet gun or by the impact of being struck by one of the capsules. It's, it's probably the, one of the most humane ways that we can offer fly control to cattle. Humane, labor-saving, and it sounds to me like a prof profit-making technology. Absolutely, Kevin. To find out more about AgriLabs and view video replays of our program, 
visit our website, cattlemantocattlemen.org.